What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Beyond the Clicking Cliff. This is a podcast where I give you my experiences, life journeys, rambling, just stuff beyond Lego. And, you know, that's what it is. It's something for you to listen to as you mow the yard and work in the background. Or even if you're building Lego, you have something for you to listen to. Uh, just something to break up the quietness if you need some something on in the background. And it just gets to get to know me on a, I guess, on a deeper level. Um, last week, kind of, kind of explained to you what went on with me. Uh, you know, with since all these health issues is coming on, and I, and I know it seems like I bring it up in every video, but it's still on my mind till it's completely done. Um, because I still feel bad. I still hurt. I still in a little bit of pain it's not constant pain I do have breaks but it just when it hits it hits I mean it um, almost bringing down to the knees it, it's it's the problem I have is kidney I got a kidney stone and usually he I pass them but this one's like a nine millimeter just think of a bullet trying to go through your aretha okay yeah, that's basically what it is a nine millimeter bullet going through a, a tube, a quarter of its size, and it, it, I can't pass it on my own. So I gotta go up there and break it up and and uh, take it out, right? Well, you know, you know, very easy, very easy. Well, guys, you know, I've shared with you my past medical history on this uh, channel and. Everybody knew I, I've already suffered a pulmonary embolism back in, uh, back in the day. And from there, it's a blood clot. And from there on, I had to be on blood thinners. So, this is a quote-unquote surgery, so they got to take me off of my blood thinner. I and mean, that scares the living tar out of me because I can produce a, cl a clot while I'm off this during surgery. And it could almost, I mean, kill you. Um, so, this procedure that I thought was going to be easy and, and all that stuff can actually turn out to be more serious. And serious. And it's, it's a serious thing because you're having surgery. If you're having surgery, it's a pretty serious thing. Anyway, but this is scaring me a little bit kind of tripping me out because I I know what I feel like when I went through the pulmonary embolism not knowing if you're going to live or whatever that, that was a an intense scary moment for me um and uh now what's helping me out is when I went to do my heart catheter I I took it I took myself off the blood thinner and we did all right. And I did it when I had my major surgery. The, I do have a wire thing in my heart, up in my body where it's supposed to stop, um, like cut the, the clot so it's not supposed to go through. So that helps ease my mind just a tad bit. So that's been on my mind, and I'm sorry this this may not interest you at all, but and and, and I, I try try I try hard on this channel to keep things interesting for you guys. Um, but you know, I'm just kind of telling you what's going you know through my life, and that's what this is beyond clicking for us all about. So, but this week was been kind of been good. I mean, I'm not saying it's been all bad. I was able to get back in my Lego room. I, I've i been making videos, and I, I did work on my layout. I feel good Monday. I, I went in here and worked on my layout. I, you saw that video yesterday of my 
new update. Hope you enjoy it because I actually digging this new look I got going on. Um, so I did that. And I, and I came in and making videos and 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 I still 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 doing good. Still doing. You know, I'm in the legal room right now making this video and and I plan on doing some stuff today. Uh, as much as my, I can feel like doing, um, but yeah, yesterday wasn't a very good day for me. I had a reaction to one of my in a box they put me on, and I had to go get seen about that. So got that taken care of. You know, got you know, took me off of it, and I was fine. I mean, I wasn't stopping breathing. I just started getting a rash all over my body and itchy and you can kind of still see it on my cheeks here a little bit it's way better than what it was yesterday um if i looked like i did yesterday today i would not be making this video today um but we get we got through it um we're getting through it and so i did that and it, it, I've been watching movies with my daughter. She's been hanging out with me, so that, that makes me happy. Um, but my surgery is the 31st, be next, like I said, next Wednesday. Well, this Wednesday as you're watching this video, and I probably won't be live streaming that Wednesday night, so um, we'll carry on and carry on. Um, but... We, we're going to make it. We're going to make it through. I, I have a good feeling. I, I'm, I'm so trying to be positive, not be just a kidney stone. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, so we did that. We went through there. Um, making this video. I've been watching some movies. I been it's been pretty pretty interesting uh life here uh feel it felt so weird not to be in the lego room that whole week when i was in the hospital when i got home I just kind of took that week off it was weird not doing videos or being around youtube very much kind of should i dare say kind of nice um, I enjoy YouTube and making videos and sharing my life with you guys, sharing my hobby with you guys. I just, it just, it's kind of nice not have to worry about coming in here and making a video. I don't, I don't have to now. I'm not getting paid for it. I'm not making a living off of YouTube or making videos, but I enjoy doing it and, and I, I do like to keep you guys updated as well you know I, I keep you guys updated is the best I, i'll be honest with you it, it, keep you know and i feel y'all need to but uh yeah we we're working on that but i come in here making videos i do i didn't miss it i'll be honest with you i did miss it i couldn't wait to come back in here and make videos. You can ask any of my friends. I said, I need to go make a video. And I did. I came in here and did it. I'm feeling, feeling I feel all right. Um, but other than that, this is kind of turning into a rambling podcast, which is okay. Um, did, like I said, I came in here. I, I, I built Lego last week. Um, if you've been watching my short videos, I did. I've been working on the uh, Speed Champions, and I did that this last weekend as I was making my short videos on Sunday. I I built that set, so that did make it easy. Monday I came in here, redid my layout, like I said, did an update for you. Yes, Tuesday I just took the day off, you know, just kind of relax, watch movies. Um, waiting on a plumber to get here. Never to show up. So hopefully they show up today. So, yeah. Got that. Um, 
got a live, I, you know, I'm making this video on a Wednesday. I got a live stream tonight. Hope you over there to enjoy that. And, um, but, you know, needless to say, we're going to get through it. Um, have y'all ever been worried about a procedure before? I mean, at first, have y'all ever went through a procedure? Um, even if it's a minor surgery or something or even getting your teeth worked on y'all worry about all that y'all get anxiety i get it i i get anxiety over it and to be honest with you it, it, it like i said i've been having anxiety over it. <laughs> plain and simple i just i know what happened before and i it, 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 it does bother me. It, it does make me worry. Um, so, I don't know why I keep, I don't know. Guys, I don't even know if this podcast makes any sense right now. <laughs> but, uh, my question to you is, it, do y'all get anxiety over stuff like this? Uh, or am I the only one? Maybe I'm overreacting. Who knows? I mean, I could be overreacting. Everything will be fine. Just, just, just a thing. But uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think I got a little more gray hair out of the deal. Um, other than that, I don't know. I'm, I, so, well, my future plans here are going to be on this channel, on this podcast live. Um. Like I told you a while back, this I can only take this podcast as far as it goes. Yeah, you know, we change direction. You know, I'm just gonna tell you what I did during the week, and that was gonna be the podcast. I mean, I told you practically all my stories in my life. I, I I'm still I probably still got some stories down there if I thought about it. But uh, and the one is I uh, I remember when I was a kid. You know, I, when I go to school, I always run to the nurse's office and act like I'm sick so I can go home. I just I didn't want to be at school. I wanted to go to the nurse every day. Kept asking her, I'm sick. I need to go home. I'm sick. I don't feel good. And the nurse take my temperature and send me back to class almost every day. Every, almost every day. And I think I've told this story once, but I'm going to tell you the story again to tell you about my experience now. Um, they, But one day, same thing, I went to the nurse's station and I told the nurse, I'm not feeling too good. Nurse just go, well, what's wrong today? I said, I just don't feel good. I want to go home. So she sat there, and she sent me back to class. So my teacher, or my nurse, called my mom, and my mom came on up to the school, and I went back to class, sat down. Like, it's the same routine every day. And then the nurse called and wanted me to come back to the nurse's station, so... Hey, maybe today's my lucky day. Um, so I went, went to the nurse station there set my mom. I'm like, yes. And my mom was, didn't look concerned, so I'm like, uh-oh. You, you know my mom, you know how moms are sometimes. That, you know, they want a baby when you're, when you're sick, but my mom wasn't babying me. Matter of fact, I had the counselor was there, the teacher, and my nurse, and the principal, and and some other people, but which I grown to I'm grown to to learn. It was the Department of Family Services representative and my mom in the counselor's office. Shut doors. I guess me going to the nurse every day spark some kind of thing thinking that I was getting abused or something was going on at home that I wanted to you know didn't want to be at school 
So my mom, so I had to answer questions, and you know I fessed up. I said, no, 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 there ain't nothing going on at home. My mom, you know, my mom ain't ain't like abusing me or anything like that, it, or or doing anything other than being a mom. Um, so we got through that. Got and my mom on the way home says, "See, you keep lying or." Or telling people playing playing sick playing hooky, you're gonna get in trouble. And 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 I and as my health issues as I got older started getting deteriorating. I go, I, I told my wife the other day. I said, you know, I when I was a kid, I used to want to be sick. I want, wanted to be sick, so I'd go home and do, not do anything. And now that I'm actually sick, it's not so fun. So maybe I missed out. Of, a bunch of opportunities growing up when I'm trying to be sick. Maybe I should have stayed in class and, and learned something. So, yeah, I, I, you know, it, it's funny how how things go in a circle. Now I, I am going to the doctor a lot more than I ever used to, and and it's not so fun as I thought. I guess I don't know. Uh, so now, yeah, now, now I I try to. Avoid the doctor, avoid being sick, and as much as possible. And so, but yeah, that was that. I apologize, to mom. Well, I didn't know they were gonna get you in trouble. I thought I was just wanting to get home, you know. And, and you know, it's a life lesson. My mom did turn it into a lesson, you know. See, the, you, you, that's when they told me the story about the, the boy who cried wolf, and. And I learned a lesson right there. You know, don't tell your teacher they're sick unless you are sick. Because then they're not going to believe you and it could turn into a big old mess. Um, but I'm trying to be positive during this trial that I'm going through. I appreciate everybody out there who has checked up on me and, and, and kept me in their thoughts and prayers and messaging me asking me how I'm doing I each, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for doing that you guys are awesome I'm glad I got friends out there that truly do care and that, that makes that makes this process a whole lot better um, because this is going to be it for today I hope you enjoyed it kind of give you keep you an update of what's going on tell you a last story like this podcast is supposed to be about um, you know always be good to one another pay it forward open the door for somebody put some light in some of somebody else's cloud treat others the way you want to be treated just be nice this world's full of, of hate and you know we need to change that we need to change that perspective of us we we don't need to hate each other we need to just respect each other don't have to hate. Guys, that's going to be it. Until the next one. Bye-bye.